Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, The Path of Platinum. In the last episode, we started out as Judas getting a ginormous tooth run going, and we ended as Cain dying on lust, which was kind of pathetic. And today we're going to random, and we're going to play as Samson, which I'm cool with because I actually like playing as Samson. Uh, we're on the Curse of the Labyrinth Cellar XL. Uh, that's, that's like less than ideal for starting, but you know, whatever, we'll start with the challenge. I don't see what's wrong with a challenge. Uh, obviously, Bloody Rage is great, but, or Bloody Lust, I think. Bloody Lust, which gives us rage, is great, but it's not quite going to be enough to carry us through this run. So, we need damage upgrades, we need health, definitely need health upgrades. Uh, Epicac would be cool. Just Polyphemus would be awesome. Guppy's Head. Mom's Knife. I'd love to have a Mom's Knife run where I actually finish the game since last time. Uh, I did not finish the game when I got Mom's Knife since I've only used it once. Uh, I'm actually going to just go ahead and use this bomb to get this key right now. I mean, I know I could wait and see, but I don't really... I don't really want to have to travel back. I and mean, what I'm saying is I don't want to wait and see if, like, A, there's a Tinted Rock, B, there's another key that's accessible, which there probably will be, let's be honest. I always like Cellar XL because it's, like, the harder version of the basement, which really doesn't mean much since the basement... Oh my god! I was really close. Since the basement's already really easy anyway. Oh, there you go. There's the key. Now all we need is a tinted rock and the, uh... Oh, you bitch. The, uh... I don't know what word I want to use. Prophecy! That's it. The prophecy will be completed. It is as it was foretold. Just like in that last video when I was getting the teeth and I was like, Oh man, all I want is like Polyphemus and I totally got it. But nothing could save that run, I guess, from my terrible ability. God, we got a lot of keys. What's up with that? I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Uh, hopefully we fight Dookie Duke or... What's his champion version called? I can't remember now. Even though I fight him, like, all the time. What the hell is he called? Uh, oh my god, we have five keys already. It's insanity. Oh my god, Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity for the Xbox 360. That game was on the Xbox 360, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, that's what I had it on. Was that game even Was that game only on Xbox? No way. I don't remember. Anyway, it was a cool game. I liked it. I should let's play it. No, I shouldn't let's play it. Oh shit, I didn't mean to grab that. Oh god. No. Oh, I hate Wiggle Worm so much. Well, I've never gotten it in this in this series, so I guess I'll use it reluctantly. I really don't want to use this. I really hope I get something. Look at that! What fucking... Oh, God, I hate it so much. Like, what benefit does that give me? Oh, you can uh, curve your tears around enemies. It's just, like, wanted. I mean, I don't. I, I doubt that this item was put in the game to like benefit players. I really hope not, because I obviously don't get it. Yeah, let's hope I get something that will make it so I, it doesn't matter that I have this Mr. Boom, which I never use, but I'll use it now since we don't have a spacebar item. Uh, okay, I'll take a free bomb. And our second item. Oh my God, seriously. Uh, this is not gonna be good. I do like, I will admit, I like the face the characters make when they get Wiggle Worm, though. Just the... Mm, mm. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what that face is. Uh, Wiggle Worm. God damn it. I really hate it. I'm a snake. <laughs> I mean, if it's like a damage upgrade or something, then fine. Blow up on him! You know what I just noticed? Uh, whenever he goes back underground, it looks like a total butthole. Look, I'll let you see it. Watch. Butthole. That's... Butthole. That's hilarious. Uh, man, we only have uh, one heart left. Because we got to hold on to what we've got. I shouldn't have used Mr. Boom, by the way. Should have saved it for the next fight since... Bombs fighting, fighting pin with bombs is always kind of a, a pain. I kind of don't want this run to succeed at all, just because I really hate Wiggle Worm. I don't foresee myself being able to beat the game with something like Wiggle Worm. I wonder if anyone's beaten the game with Wiggle Worm, like beaten Blue Baby. Probably, I'm sure someone has, right? 
Except probably the thing that most people do when they get Wiggle Worm is just start the game over, so they never even got the chance. Uh, health upgrade, totally great item. I'll take it. We need health upgrades. Wait, oh, I went the wrong way. I was like, hey, where's our boss? <laughs> uh, okay, I can deal with this. Widow's way easier. Oop, as I get hit by Widow. Pink Widow's interesting, though, because he takes, like, way smaller steps, and he doesn't make spiders. He makes red nubs and uh, flies, which is interesting. Oh, my God. Actually, this is... I didn't even think about that. Look at that! That is horrible! I wonder how Wiggle Worm would interact with, uh, like, homing tears. That would be interesting to see. Uh, range upgrade is not really something I want. I don't know about this one, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> wiggle Worm is... Wait, is that wiggling less now? It seems like it wiggles more with the more enemies I kill. Like, the wiggliness stacks on the... Oh, I'm sure it would. Yeah, homing wiggly tears. I, I would love to see that. It'd be interesting. I should have waited till they were both in front of that, but oh well, what are you gonna do? And there's a tinted rock over here, so I will bomb it. Get two spirit hearts. That's cool. Uh, almost. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Give me something good. Mmm. Okay, that's pretty good. I, I like extra vision. We look really crazy right now. I like it. Uh, fortune teller. I'll play it, I guess. We don't have a trinket, so... Oh. Okay. I got money in a bomb that was, I guess, worth it? I don't know. I love our shoes, though. Gotta say, where did you get those shoes? Uh, normal secret room. Get money. So the shop is close to worth it. Uh, unfortunately we didn't get anything good. It is great though that we got the secret glasses this early in the game, of course. As I normally say, uh, it's always good to get an item like this early on so that we can use it uh, throughout the game and potentially get some really cool stuff, but it's all, I think Epic, that's where we got Epic Fetus, isn't it? From uh, Secret Room? So, I don't know. Seriously, Wiggle Worm is so fucking terrible! Like, even if this is a bad run, I'm posting this video just to prove a point. The wiggle, 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 yeah, worm is god awful. Why would I want an item that, like, is like, oh, well, you might hit your enemy, but you might not? Why would anyone want that? Can someone explain it to me? Edmund McMillan, please? What were you thinking with this run? I mean, I'll admit, I think it's cool that it's, like, an item that, like, changes it up a bit, but it's not for the better, so why would I want that? Like, a room like this. Well, actually doing okay in this room it doesn't even wiggle the way I oh god you bastard oh no wiggle worm save me I hate it I hate it so much oh we lost our spirit heart I uh, got oh what the fuck that spider went crazy for a second there the loud noise of the explosion must have startled it there we go there's a little bit of usefulness made well for a minute Trying to wiggle my shots right in there. Oh, why did I put that bomb there? I mean, it still worked, but barely. Okay, let's go fight the boss. It's Gertie Jr. Gertie Jr. The Gertie Jr. twins. Get one of them, please. Of course not. Why would you? I really hate Wiggle Worm. I, I, I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> We're gonna die. Oh my god! That was my own fault, but I mean, Wiggle Worm is so bad. Alright, let's just go ahead and play as Samson again, right? Why not? But fuck Wiggle Worm. <laughs> For serious. Like, nobody likes Wiggle Worm, and we're getting a lot of keys again. Wouldn't that be hilarious if Wiggle Worm was the first item we got in this run? I would fucking take it and not reset out of spite if that happened. I'd be like, alright, game! Let's, let's do it! Let's roll! Let's throw down! We're gonna make Wiggle Worm useful. I'm sure there's gotta be some combination of items that makes Wiggle Worm useful. There's just gotta be, right? There's gotta be like that one thing where it's like, whoa man, did you see what Red Panda Gamer did with Wiggle Worm? Like, <sighs> Wiggle Worm, like, no, you don't understand. Uh, okay, cool, four Spirit Hearts and Faith up. I always forget what that does. Does that make Spirit Hearts appear more often? I don't know. Uh, so I actually like Fighting Widow, as I said, because we get to kill his little spider dudes which increases our rage, but in reality he doesn't have that much HP anyway, so it kind of just turns into overkill. 
any enemy that make or any boss that makes enemies is always really good or really good to face as Samson. Let's try to like our best to hold on to these spirit arts too, because that would be great. Because you know, occasionally there are deals with the devil that uh, ask for spirit hearts, so that would be kind of a cool little shindig. I don't know what I meant by that, but so does faith uh, faith up the rosemary? Does that make spirit hearts appear more often? I don't know, but I'm curious. Uh, HP upgrade is great, since Samson has shit for HP. I'll take it. We're on basement now, which should be easy. You guys ever heard of the basement jacks? Pretty good band. Uh, we might as well check and see what's in here. Oh, uh, okay. It's speed and range up, so I'll take it. Roid Rage. Oh, yeah, there isn't. I, I think it was it last episode. I was asking if there was an actual uh, one of those that said Roid Rage on it. Or roids, like steroids. Which I guess it doesn't really say it, but I mean, come on. Actually, these rooms are great as Samson. I'll probably almost always do them since, you know, with Bloody Rage, our uh, damage goes up every single time we fight something. So, or kill something, I should say. That was worth it. Definitely got a key and an item. A decent item at that. Uh, speed upgrades are always, well, appreciated. We also got this really goofy grin now. We got our Rosemary on, and we got our bandana. I always like when our character actually looked interesting. Like, I, I, it's weird, but I don't like when our character just looks like a t disgusting abomination. Well, sometimes. Sometimes it's amusing, but for the most part, I don't like it. Uh, wow. Thanks! We get Lemon Mishap, which is a shitty item. Not that I need to tell you that. Actually, if we're gonna fight anyone with Lemon Mishap, Larry Jr. is probably the best enemy for that. Look at that! Who would have thought, right? Also, I think I, the biggest problem with Lemon Mishap is it's not one of those items that renews in every floor or every room. That would be cool. If it renewed in every floor or at least every other floor, then I'd love it. I'd use it all the time, probably. But it doesn't, so I hate it. And it's awful. Okay, it charges in every two rooms. Coat Hanger for a shot up and Sacred Tears. Nope, dead. Okay, uh, cool. Dead Dove is awesome. It's basically like getting... Uh, God damn it. I always forget what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. I'm trying to... I, what I'm, I'm just trying to remember what the devil version of this is called. I seriously can't remember what it's called. Uh, Pinky Eye is great. Uh, we need a bomb because I want that rock. What the fuck is it called? I seriously cannot remember what it's called. And it's not even that big a deal, but I want to remember. And I know people are going to comment it, and I'm going to remember it by, like, any minute now. Ugh, nope, not coming to me. <laughs> don't even don't even tell me in the comments, please. I don't want to know. Spirit of the Night! There we go. Ha! Delete your comments, or make another comment saying, Oh, sorry, I didn't watch the whole video. <laughs> Okay, so Dead Dove. I, I love Dead Dove. I mean, it's gonna make this interesting. I'm getting real, some really good items. Oh, fuck you. Ha! I peed on you. Wait, it's not hurting that one, though. That was probably not worth it, but it was fun. It was fun to do a flyby peeing. Blow that up. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I'll totally take Book of Belial. Book of Belial's great! Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't feel like I need to sing its praise, but it's fantastic. And obviously our ability to float over here, oh man, this run could go very well for us. The only downside, I mean, the thing about it, even though the Spectral Tears thing is great, uh, it really doesn't help you that much for boss fights. Well, some boss fights. But like the Isaac fight, it's not going to do anything for us, really. So we still need to get things that are going to, you know, put us over the edge. Uh, we need some orbitals to protect us, and we probably could use Wiggle Worm. I'm just kidding, Wiggle Worm's garbage. Oh, I was hoping they'd come over here and get themselves blowed up. For some reason, I thought we had a lot of red heart drops on this floor, but we only got that one, I guess. I love these enemies. Alright, uh, hopefully there's a blood bank somewhere on here, because we got two full red hearts that are just begging to be played with. I, that sounded pervy, and I apologize. Well, I'm not really that sorry, but 
I'm apologizing out of the uh, humor of apologizing, I guess. I don't know. I don't think apologizing is that funny, so I don't know where that just came from. A bunch of enemies that can fly, so our ability to fly over things that no one can get to us on is pretty much useless. Other than our ability, I mean, that, that is one thing I will say. Well, we got a speed upgrade and we can fly, so that's pretty cool. A lot of useful things so far in this run. Lots of practical things, if you will. Oh, that was dumb. I love Pinky Eye though. I hope we get a. Uh, oh, that was beautiful. I hope we get the handbag, just so we can keep it because it is really good. You're really good. Oh my god, that was stupid. I mean, I know I could just go over one of these holes, but my reasoning is kind of funny. My reasoning is that I, you know, I feel like I take damage, but I'm taking damage anyway. Telepill. Uh. Oh hey, it's right in room. Like, th actually, Lemon Mishap could be somewhat useful with our ability to fly and stuff. Not that useful, but, you know, useful. Which is more than you can normally say about it, because it's, you know, normally not useful. Next item, Polyphemus, or Max's head. shoop de whoop You could suck my cock. <sighs> well, what are you going to do? I really hope there's a blood bank somewhere on this floor because there's a lot of red hearts around. Get him! Yes! Perfect. Uh, there's a library, which... I mean, I only have two keys. If I had more than two keys, then maybe I'd go in there. Like, just to probably get a spirit heart, but I'm not going to do that. Come on. Plus, book of, I already have like the best book in the game anyway, so why would I bother? Sure, why not? I said I was gonna do all of them, so I should probably stick to that. Uh, we might as well use the Book of Belial too, right? Just to spice things up a bit. Well, not really spice things up. If anything, this kind of dulls them because of how much brutal death we're dealing out, or how much brutal death we're dealing out, I should say. Oh my god. Pathetic. Have you ever even played The Binding of Isaac? Probably not. Ma. Get him. Alright. Not really worth... Well, not not worth it, I should say. It wasn't, like, terrible, but it wasn't really all that good. We didn't get much reward is really the whole point. Of the, the whole moral of the story is you, know, you got nothing out of that, so don't ever try to risk things again. <laughs> or something like that. So we're going to fight our two bosses here. I always love XL floors because it makes the... I feel like it makes the game seem shorter just because there's one less cutscene. Which isn't even that big a deal. Um, we already got our book back, which I didn't realize. Uh, Gertie is actually a great person to be fighting. Um, especially because normally when you fight Gertie, you get these rocks that I totally didn't even take advantage of. But the nice thing about fighting Gertie is since it makes enemies, uh, you're going to be doing a lot of damage when you're actually when you're done taking out all of its little backups. So I think we're doing like full damage now. Because so I don't know, does Rage have a maximum amount of damage you can do? Good question. Plus, we have a lot of speed, so we're doing a lot of we'll be able to move out of the way pretty quickly. This is like a good like Satan build. Like we'd be able to beat Satan probably really easily. Uh, speaking of Satan, we got the pentagram, which is great because I was gonna say we definitely need damage upgrades. Um, I don't want to risk losing this run, so I am gonna backtrack to get those red hearts. And actually, we might as well explore the rest of this floor. We look really scary. Because if there is a blood bank, I would like to try and play it, because we could still use more health. This time I'm just going to stand over here. Because they can't reach me. They can't reach me. Alright, enough of that. Disgusting nonsense. Damn you. Damn you and your ability to hide at the last moment. Come on. Open! You feel the whore? Which doesn't even make sense, because it's not opening, so it's not a filthy whore. Never mind. Oh, uh, we should definitely go to the shop. Let's go shopping! I totally forgot, like, hey, that thing came back to life! <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, is this your first time, buddy? Seems like we keep going back to this joke of 
it may be being my first time playing Isaac. What if it was? What if this whole time I was getting footage from someone else? And I was just really good at it. Really good at pretending to be someone else. I wish I was somebody else. Ah, just keep dodging back and forth. It's bound to work. Just like jumping up and down in Halo. You're being shot at. It does work. Definitely gonna go to the shop. Uh, probably gonna have to fight greed, but whatever. I ain't scared. Uh, we're on the caves, too. I didn't realize that until just now. Uh, friends till the end! Let's hold on to this till we fight our next boss. Showerware. Hopefully we get another deal with the angel at some point. Oh, you bastard! Well, there is a red heart on the other side of this area, so... I was pretty sure that was gonna happen, but... I couldn't be sure. What the fuck? How did it die? I wasn't even hitting it, was I? That's weird. Red heart. There are so many red hearts around here, it's ridiculous. If ever there was gonna be a blood bank, now would have been the best time. And they're all, oh, I was gonna say all full red hearts, but that one wasn't. Uh, let's just buy a key, I guess. You know what, let's buy a tarot card. That meant, yep, yeah, I feel like a fool. So you got your point across, game. Oh, the fool. I know it's not Oh the Fool, I know it's Zero the Fool, but I like how Oh the Fool sounds. Oh the Fool. Reminds me of The Cave. The Cave. That was a good game. I, a lot of people didn't seem to like it though. Um, actually, this is like the best place to fight this enemy, so. Uh, because of the rocks. Enemy boss that like has rocks around it. Oh, you jerk. It's always good to fight. But of course the eyeballs can still hit you. Ooh, I really don't want to die. Obviously, no one wants to die, but... Oh, God, we could die. Ah, I'm realizing my own mortality. There we go. That was stressful. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, shit. Uh, damn it. Well, I don't think we probably have... No, wait, yeah, we have. Because I think you have to beat... You have to beat Satan with Samson to unlock Bloody Lust, right? I could be wrong. Well, that really blows, right? I mean, we could get uh, the bag. But I kind of doubt it. It's just, you know, not the most common item in the world. Fuck... That really sucks. Well, it's my own fault. Well, not... I mean, it's my fault, so... <gasps> oh! Of course! We're gonna get... Sa oh, my God. Of course we're gonna get Sacred Heart the run that this shit happens. Oh, man. That really sucks. I'm really bummed. I don't know. We I shouldn't get too worried. Maybe we'll be able to get the handbag. I don't know. I'm really sad. Well, you know, and at the same time, like I, I can't, it, I can't lie. We still only have two red hearts, so I, I don't think having this insane. Did we get sacred tears last time when we played as Samson? I think we did. That's fantastic. Ooh, that was close. I love these tears. Oh, I'm crying tears now too. Playing Binding of Isaac in real life. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? It's just a video game, right? 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 Come on, you jerk! Stop! What the fuck? These tears are doing weird shit. Ah, man, it really sucks. I I can't even say I'm surprised. Let's just fight our boss. Uh, Gish. So we'll get a little baby Gish. We just bumped into that fly, which is pretty dumb. Um, I would have loved. Oh well, no, never mind. I was gonna say I would have loved another deal with Angel, but we can't get another deal with Angel because we just got one. We got Sacred Tears. Remember? Remember when we got that? Oh my God, that was brutal. Uh, brutal legend. Let's just run in there again because I'm always paranoid. Okay, I never like skipping going in there again. I could have just. I should have just let that Eternal Heart. I don't know why I didn't. 
<sighs> We're gonna go find the shop. Maybe get the bag. I don't know. I don't think we will. But we're very close to being able to go to the shop twice. Or buy a $15 item twice. So there's still hope for the depths too. Not much. But there is some. Plus since we just got a... Oh god, that was really close. I don't know how I managed to not get hit there. Because I'm the best binding of Isaac player ever. That's how. Answered my own question. Fuck you, bomb flies. Shouldn't have even been a problem. Ah, uh, red chest. Gold chest. Why I call it a red chest? I'm an idiot. Oh, God. We're getting all these good items, of course, now. Ugh, fucking tick. So angry. Ugh. Can you tell? Do I sound angry enough? Am I acting angry enough? Oh, I wish I had face cam just to show you guys how angry I am. I am actually really bummed about it, though, because Sacred Tears is such a cool item to get, and it really does, like, it's one of those items that you get and you're like, oh, wow, I have a really good chance now of beating Isaac. Ugh. You know what? Maybe I should take... Let's, okay, I, this is gonna seem crazy, I know, but if we're gonna get anything out of using sacred, having sacred tears, it's gonna be that I'm gonna try and make it through the womb without taking any damage, and I think the best way to do that is by having the Bible, just so we can kill Mom's heart in one hit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Even though, in theory, I probably should be able to do that anyway, just with how much damage we're doing and how many bombs we have. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good idea. I mean, we can always go back and get it, but... Ha! <laughs> Thanks for all the bombs. You're the bomb. Uh, but I was really hoping for the bag in that room. Wait, was there a key in there? Because I should have got one if there was one. I did buy that spirit heart, which, if there is a key, I'm gonna be a little annoyed about that. Well, it doesn't really matter. I seriously just... <sighs> did we double our bombs? Did we? I thought we had 18 bombs. Didn't I just say 18 bombs? Oh, wow. Duh, we just went into that room. If we doubled it, it would have been 36. We just went into that room that had tons of bombs in it. I'm a doofus. <sighs> so sad. We need a key now, too. Mainly for the shop. Alright, so, we gotta try and make... Oh, we're on the depths part, too. Never mind. I was gonna, like, give myself that little speech about, like, Alright, we gotta get through this without taking any damage. But that speech does not apply. Well, I mean, we should we should still try to not take any damage, but you know, it's not as big of a deal. Should probably use bombs properly. Properly. That works. I just have all these bombs, and I want to use them. Bastards. Uh, I guess the other best way to take these. We're getting a lot of library. Is that the third library? I think it is. Goddamn tick. It's a great show, but it is a shitty fucking trinket. I don't know why I grabbed it even. Like, I, I don't even feel like I saw it. Like, I just... I don't know. I have no excuse. So why am I making excuses? I also have to go through the depths without taking hits, which I probably should have try to do more actively on this run because this is the run that you do that on like you got you can fly you can shoot through stuff you have some of the most powerful tiers you can get in the game right, i want to play this to get keys please please thanks that's exactly what i wanted we look really weird like because our eyes are like whited over with like our because our tears turned white Okay. Bombs. Thanks. Uh, alright. So now we want to go find our shop. I'd rather go to, like I said, I'd rather go to our shop than our item room since we already have, like, the best items in the game anyway. Well, one of the best items in the game anyway. Not like we have a bunch of really super good items. That's not true. Actually, we have a lot of really good items. But I don't mean, like, 
with Mom's Knife, Brimstone, Epic Feeder. Well, we did have Epic Feeders and Mom's Knife at the same time once, and we did win. I don't remember who we were playing as, though. Get out of here, you big jerk. Money. And there's our item room. I really hope, I shouldn't even say this, but I really hope it's not uh, greed, or super greed. But if it is, I will, I don't know. I won't do anything. I mean, I'll just be disappointed. I should probably try and push that bomb. Nah, damn. Secret room actually could have been there, so. I'm glad I checked. I regret nothing. Nothing! We should go, actually, maybe we should go to the library. See if the Book of Shadows is in there and we can play that blood bank. All right, well, here's our shop. This is kind of the moment of truth for us. Um, and actually, you also might as well. There's just so many other items that could be in the shop, you know? We might as well check and see if there is a secret room here. There's not. Just so we don't have to waste our key. Oh, damn it. I saw the bag and I got all excited. We'll buy the key. We'll buy the pill, or coin purse, telepill. Fuck you. Oh, cool. Well, that makes me feel a little better then. Uh, let's take the white pill too. Bad guess. All right, we'll hold on to the telepills. Telepill. Why is it called telepills? Is that like the brand? Let's, you know what? Let's do this. I don't even care about anything anymore. Let's go into the boss trap room. Why not? What kind of boss do you fight in the boss trap room at this point in the game? I actually have no idea. Let's do it. Pop, pop. Uh, okay. I will always do that for an HP upgrade. That is such a good item to get in these. In my opinion, anyway. Because, you know, there's some items that can show up in here. It's just like, ah, I don't really want that. God, we, we, you know what? We have such a good... Like, even Little Gish is, like, perfect for, you know, fighting the boss. For the final bosses. It's because, you know, the slowing effect. So it doesn't shoot as many tears. This makes me very sad. I thought there were three bosses we had to fight. That's not. Uh, there's a lot of red hearts around here, so we might as well play this some more. I don't know how many, but we might as well play it until we only have half our red heart. Too bad we don't have, like, burnt penny or any of the flat penny. Or blood penny. Bloody penny. Bloody penny. Bloody penny. All right, uh, we have Mr. Mega, which actually is cool because we are we have 31 bombs. So why don't I look for the secret room? I guess because I just don't care. I mean, I, we really are screwed with this tick. I'm really upset about it. I should stop talking about it. It's not that big a deal. I mean, there will be runs probably in the future where I get this good of items. I mean, there already have been runs where I've gotten like this good of items. And I typically die on them. Alright, you're dead. Oh, I took a hit though. God damn that stupid blast thing. Cat of Nine Tails. I actually don't like Cat of Nine Tails. Well, let's not go to the chest then, shall we? I mean, because we've beaten Isaac with Samson. So. I don't know. I'm still not sure what I want to do. Alright, so. Oh yeah, we're going back to not. trying really hard not to take damage. We're on Utero though. So it's not going to be as easy. I didn't already take a hit, right? I don't think so. But I guess any time... Uh, I don't know. I was going to say, any time I think I might take damage, I should use the telepill. That I don't have that, that kind of reaction time. Well, that's not true. I've done it before. Oh, you bastard! Well, so much for that. <laughs> uh... This run is full of disappointments. I should have known. I actually, like, I had, a, I had that thought. I'm like, is this going to hit me? Like, when it blows up? Hopefully we're fighting, like, death or something. Because that's an enemy I, almost, I can almost never take no damage from. I'm going to still try. And practice makes perfect, right? It's just, you know, we have so many good items. This is the run you do something like that on. As I've said already, like, 50 fucking times. I'm just really upset, okay? Uh, might as well go in there. Greed, fuck you. Probably I'm gonna take damage in here, right? 
No, of course not. Uh, probably not gonna take damage in here, actually. This is a really good room to fight this enemy. Yeah. More useless money. And so far, we haven't taken any hits other than that one really dumb hit, so I can feel like a total idiot when we get through this, and the blast assist is the only thing that ruined this run. The world card? Okay. I want, like, Wiggle Worm. I want Wiggle Worm Sacred Tears. Wait, was that also in this video? Yeah, that was. I was like, hold on. Did I mention Wiggle Worm? But yeah, the whole first, like, five minutes or whatever were about Wiggle Worm. Which I apologize once again for the... Oh, okay, we did take damage in here, which... I probably would have no matter what, because I'm terrible at handling rooms with a bunch of angel fetuses. I'm terrible at handling a room with fetuses, period. You know? I don't handle that very well. Just fetuses. It's not one of my favorite things. I was really close. That wasn't really close, because I got hit. Maybe I should go back and get some of those red hearts, Ed. Or at least one of them. Thanks. I mean, I guess, I, was, I don't know, I'm still trying to decide if I want to go to Shoal or if I want to go fight Isaac. I guess I'll just go fight Isaac. Ooh. That's unfortunate for me. I mean, at least we're flying so the creep doesn't matter. I really hate fighting the bloat, though. Yeah. We probably would have taken damage fighting the bloat. We only take one hit there. Got a lot of range upgrades. How can we put those shoes on? We have no feet. Game, explain yourself. Might as well. Nope, not worth it. Not even for the justice card, which I actually do like that card. But we are going to be doing a shit ton of damage by the time we're done with this floor. I mean, we already are, so... Just be here with this room, I apologize. Just because Fistula gives our bloody lust, like, so much added attack. I really do think Samson's a good character. He's just not as good for, like, the Isaac fight specifically. The blue baby is interesting because you get, uh, he shoots flies at you in the very beginning. Oh my god, we're doing so much damage. It's a little absurd, I gotta say. Uh, world card, let's just use it now then. Because I'd like to take, wait, no, fuck, that was dumb of me. Oh, well, whatever. I probably wouldn't have gone that way, so. Or this way, I should say. Oh, wow. God, I love I, I love and hate homing tears. Like, I always feel like, oh, homing tears don't even do anything. But they, they actually do. You notice, I notice it quite often. Don't think it goes unnoticed, homing tears. But it also might just be, I mean, the other thing, too, is the sacred tears are, like, really huge. And also, when you are when you have range upgrades, your homing weapon, your homing tears seem much more useful, or are much more useful, not seem. Ah, man, that was dumb. I dodged right into it. I dodged durango right into it, if you will. Think for yourself? Why did I just blow you up? How about that? <laughs> <sighs> that was a really shitty evil laugh, by the way. I apologize. Normally, my evil laughs are at a much higher caliber. Alright, let's go fight Mom's heart. Oh, sorry. Oh, I killed you. I'm sorry. Just proving to you people who insist that I skip devil rooms. <laughs> it's not a deal of the devil. And that you're dumb. No, you're not dumb. You just don't know what you're talking about. That's okay. Even though the internet will tell you you're dumb because you don't know what you're talking about, it's that's not true. It gets better. Probably. Imagine an internet where everyone's super nice to each other and no one calls you dumb, no one says like the word fag. Okay, what is up with this? I hate these enemies so gosh darn much and they're just like, oh, okay, you're gonna fight two of them. Alright, that's fine, it's expected in the cathedral. Oh, okay, you're gonna fight two with bomb flies. Oh, okay, I don't really like bomb flies. You're gonna just fight three. You're gonna fight three twice. Fuck you, game. I gave you everything. I gave you my all. I'm gonna go back and watch more Twin Peaks now. I'm gonna go play heavy, more Heavy Rain. We could die in one hit. I guess it's, you know, I'll be honest, like when I get to this point, oh wait, oh I can't even, can I even use the Bible when I'm fighting Isaac? 
I mean, I know it won't do anything, but like, will something terrible happen if I do? Like, I know if you use it on Satan, you die. Which I think that's so funny. Like, imagine if someone got like their first mom kill. Which I imagine a lot of people get their first mom's heart kills like with the uh, the Bible. Well, maybe not heart. Or, uh, I don't know. I feel like mom's. I don't feel like mom is that difficult, but it's really hard for me to put myself back all that ways to like remember what it was like to first play this game. So this would be an easy fight if these guys didn't make flies. The I almost got hit there. That was almost really bad. Whew. That was close. Too close for comfort. And we get spirit heart. But I imagine a lot of people use the Bible to like kill mom's heart and mom for the first time. And then I just imagine like you got all that hype from doing that, and then you go straight to fight. This is a terrible room, by the way. I, should, I don't know why I stayed here. I guess just to prove a point that I'm not fucking scared of greed. Well, I'm not scared of it. It's a, <laughs> why would I be scared of greed? It would be a kind of a weird reaction to a video game character. All right. I don't even know why I'm grabbing that money. I don't need it. It's because we're humans. We're drawn to money. Or something like that. So does the Bible have any other use to it other than just, like, insta-killing? I guess not. I mean, that's a really good use and all. Okay, what I'm trying to say is I wonder if, like, I would love to have seen people, because I never even used the Bible. I never knew it uh, killed Mom that fast. Or instantly. That is very fast, though. Um, we're going to die, by the way, when we fight Isaac. Just so you know, we have, like, no chance. We might not even make... Oh, fuck. We're going to die right here, aren't we? Oh, wait, no. This guy doesn't make sci... Oh, yep, he does. Get out of there! Why did I do that? Let's just play this a bunch of times so we get red hearts. Give me red hearts! <laughs> Bastard. Oh, I really just don't like fighting death. Let's try and just stay over here. Maybe he won't do anything. Yeah, that actually worked out really well. I'm sorry I'm being so quiet, but I'm just trying to not die. I don't want to be a disappointment to you guys. Get him! I would love to have seen the reaction of someone that used, like, yeah, I'm going to use the Bible to kill everything, and then they fight uh, the Satan for the first time, like, heh yeah, same trick, right? And then it doesn't work, and it kills them instantly. It'd be hilarious. <gasps> oh my god, this is terrifying! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate fire. I always hate trying to no, no hit Isaac. Or not getting hit by Isaac is really what I'm just trying to say. This is so stressful. This is way more stressful than it should be for me. It's a fucking video game, man. Chill out. Have fun with it. Oh, wait. How did that just not kill me? Did I have, like, an extra heart? What the fuck? How did I not die at first? I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this episode. Wiggle Worm is a bitch, and the Tick is also a bitch. Not that it would have mattered, but I probably would have been a lot more confident going into this fight, and uh, I wouldn't have lollygagged so much. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment, you, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and do forget to share your love. I'm Red Panda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.